What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We are a automotive fabrication specialist. We kind of, we do exhaust, do intake, boost pipes, all that type of stuff, take cars out, do custom builds on my own stuff, putting different engines in and, and all that type of stuff. Anyway, today's job is an Audi A5, three litre TDI. It's already had some uh, DPF magic, not by me. It's, uh, I'm told it's been super cleaned. So DPF is gutted potentially. Uh, our job today is we are doing a set of bike box deletes. So as you can see, it has already had a diffuser installed. It's come to us like that. The, our job is gonna be basically convert it to a quad exit on the back. So it looks like an Audi S5. Um, three liters do only have the back silencers. There is no mid silencer. So with the DPF out, with the back boxes off, this will essentially be a straight pipe and they do sound pretty sick. So we'll do a little before, see what it sounds like before. And then once we've done the job, we'll do your an after. And we'll probably even take it out on the road, let you have a listen to it on the road. So if you are thinking of straight piping your three litre TDI, you can have an insight as to what it's actually like on the road. Like does it drone and is it ASBO and all that jazz. So basically giving you a review on it so you know what it's like before you even do it. And if it's worth doing. Let's get a little rev, see what it sounds like. So as you can hear, there's not a lot of noise there at all, if any, at the moment. But that's about to change. Let's do it. Let's go and have a little look then. Carl oh, Aldo. So as you can tell, there is ginormous gaps there because that is not the original diffuser. Customer has installed that himself. And he's just gone straight to town and tech screwed it into the boot back. Look at it. But it'll do. It'll do. It's on there. He also said it sounds like it's blowing. I doubt it to be honest. So let's have a look, a good look at a system on a three litre TDI. The only thing you've got is that silencer, that silencer, and that's it. There's no middle box, there's no nothing. There's just you've got your DPF and your cat at the front. That's it, that's all these have. And all of it looks pretty good condition. I'll look up there, can't see how it's blowing. All looks like it's back together properly. Right, that's it, that's all we need to know. Make sure the tyres look about legal, because we'll, uh, Go and drive it in a bit. That one's looking a little bit sketch, I won't lie. Probably mention that to him because he probably doesn't know that that looks like that. It's had some work recently, look, it's had track red ends on it, and there's no way on this earth that's been tracked after. And if it has, damn, because that is minting that tyre. They look very new, them track red ends, like they were done last week. Anyway, you know what that is, guys, don't you? Not my problem. Let's do what we're here to do. Let's get these back boxes cut off. Right, so we're gonna put one cut there and one cut there. And these are pretty simple, really. Just one bend, you get these in one, I can't remember, is it 45 degree, I think? Literally 45 yeah. degree, one bend. Like it will be. They are an absolute doddle. Right, chop away. Great folks, we've got a bit of a predicament because when we were outside when he first dropped this car off, he said he liked these ones. And yeah, when we offered them up, I said you're probably not going to get much bigger than that in there, but that cut out pretty much buries them. So I think I think we're going to take a chance and we're going to go with four inch ones instead because I think four inch ones look better than three and a half inch ones. I think we're going to take a chance and we're going to make a split for them and we're going to roll with these bigger ones and hopefully he agrees. I've just tried to ring him, but no answer. Yeah, I think make a split for them and go with bigger ones. They're gonna look better. Them, them other ones look a little bit lost. Hmm, decisions, decisions, people. What do you think? Which tip should we go for? Let us know in the comments. Offer them, Connor, let me have a look, look myself. Yeah, the four inch ones do look so much better. I mean, you're older than Boz, I like what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for them. Sorry, it. Decision made. So I've made the decision. I'm going to go with the bigger tailpipes rather than the smaller ones. I just think they look better, but I have caused myself more work, more work, which obviously I can't charge the customer for. I'm going to have to swallow the cost of this. So 
just because usually when I do four inch tips, I do have some that are on a Y split. So essentially I have some that are already on a two to one from, from the factory essentially. But these ones that I've got are not on a two to one. Make two, two to one. Well, let's make two two to ones to get these two into a Y split down to a single pipe that we can connect to on the car. Let's do it. Right, first thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna bend four 25 degree bends. We're gonna bend it 25, cut it off, bend another one at 25, cut it off, we're gonna do that four times, because that's what we're gonna to need to make this. Flush that up to end. Choose jaw pressure set rate. It is, right, 25. I'm back. Just going to measure how long that needs to be, and then we're going to cut another three of them. So there's all those bends, four 25 degree bends. Now what we've got to do is merge them, both, well, all of them, into a split. So essentially, like that, single entry, twin outlet. Now I've already drawn a line on this one, you can probably see. We need to cut that now, we'll make sure, that, then we'll cut two of them, make sure they're right, and then we'll copy them onto the other two. Easy. So you can see there we've made another cut to each one of those bends. And this one has also had another cut compared to those ones. So that's what we're looking for. We're wanting four of those. So with a little bit of love and a little bit of fettling, as easy as that, we've got two splits into one. Now they're not quite finished yet though. They need a little bit more modification. They need welding together first. Then they need a cut across that way. And we'll essentially weld a piece of that on like that with a clamp on it, that will allow us to clamp to the existing tube and obviously we can twist them left and right, pull them in and out and wherever we want them. So, a little bit more modding. That's the splits finished. Two into one with an expanded part, with a clamp. The last thing to do now, get the tips on and that's two completed Y splits. Oof, just like that. Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> Sorted, complete. Now let's start offering these up to car. The bends are really simple, 45 degree bends, straight into them, chuck an anger on it, and we're ready for a listen. Right, so we think the bend's about 45 degrees. So let's get a whirl, see how well we did. Just go a fraction less, Connor, to start with. Try to take it to about 40. Check it to 40 and we'll have a look. It well long so tips will be sticking out yeah. a mile but well, as long as they're pointing straight I've we're done right. long end on that that way right. so we actually did make a mess up we went we didn't went to 45 and we looked at it and thought oh it's not enough and then it ended up going a little bit more then sure enough it ended up too much but luckily for us it fit absolutely perfect on the other side so we didn't waste any material and cock up was short-lived all we've got left to do now is drop an anger from there, across the tip, exactly the same on this side. Also, we've noticed a massive difference in his diffuser. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. The four inch tips fit absolutely perfect in the diffuser on driver's side. But yet we come to the passenger side, and the diffuser's smaller. Yeah, I'm not gonna start cutting his diffuser up. They do fit in there and they do look smart. But that's what you get when you buy a cheap diffuser, guys. If you want a good diffuser, there's only one place to go, isn't there? Carbon Factory. www.carbonfactory.co.uk Use discount code NAWFABS and you'll get a diffuser for your car, what fits mint, and the holes are the exact same size. Never been exposed like this before 
I'm good at shutting you out I've always had a way of keeping close Been in hiding, I've been calling out your name From the darkness, thinking it's too late If you're finding, I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding, calling out your name Calling out your name there we go folks, one absolutely sick looking A5 S5 style quad exit exhaust. Looks absolutely mint, well happy with how they've come out. Should we get down to the floor? Let's have a listen, shall we? Now I know this is gonna sound good, I already know what they sound like, but not all of you guys might not, so let's have a listen together. Back off of these ramps a minute. Just let it have a warm up a second. Once it's had a little warm up, we'll get some revs. The shame. So they usually do sound a lot better than this. Problem is it's got a soft limiter on it, so we can't get the full sound, but they actually do sound a bit like a GTR, these when, they've, uh, when, you, when it lets you rev them. Um, we'll take it out for a spin and then let you hear it on the road. Let's go for it. Let's go and have a, have a drive. Right, let's go and give you a review of this A5. God, this kid's well tall. I can't even see what steering wheel. I have to move his seat. Oh. So they do sound better with an actual downpipe rather than just gutting DPF out, like I said earlier, but they still sound decent. We've actually got a downpipe on shelf and all that Got a downpipe on shelf ready for him. We'll talk him into it when he comes back. They do sound nice these, don't they? Sound right well, don't they? Sound proper smart. Even better with downpipe. Sound immense for a yeah, diesel, they don't do. they? They do. You would not it think that with diesel, would actually, you? Yeah, no. Sounds like an S4, don't yeah, it? You it would does. not think it's a diesel. Sound amazing, these. One of the best sounding diesels there is, definitely. Hands down. I mean, I don't even know how well you guys can hear it on camera. Probably not all that great, but it does sound good. I'll, on the next little run, maybe I'll wind us down a little bit, see if you can hear it. But yeah, it does sound mint properly. You've got to trick it into thinking it's moving. Yeah. Well, we are moving, but it's not the way you can rev these static or remove soft limiter. Yeah. Needs that downpipe. Does desperately needs that downpipe. Yeah. Desperately. But I think this is missing. That point, yeah. isn't it? Goes all right and all for a big oh, bus, yeah. doesn't it? Happy days, so there you go, now you know. Also, I forgot to do a little bit of a review on it, Anna, to be fair, so silent, isn't it? Silent, yeah, it just wants that down part, but it's. So, this is an auto, oh, seven yeah. speed, that's in seventh gear, 70 mile an hour, you would not even tell it's got an exhaust no. on it. Completely silent, you would not even know. So there you go, that answers that question. Is it savage when you're just driving it normal? No, can't even really tell. Um, obviously, does it drone? No, can't even tell it's got an exhaust at motorway cruising speed. So yeah, it's a good all-rounder. Will change slightly if you do a downpipe, that does make it a little bit louder, but again, it's not excessive. So now you know. Thanks for watching this video, guys. As always, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check us out on Instagram as well, NAW Automotive. Give us a follow on there. We do put some other stuff on there. What well, doesn't always make it to YouTube. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. 
catch you in the next video. See you later.